All right. There's a few things I look at when trying to see how many hours a bike has on it. Usually on these Cowies, especially of these early generations, I would look at this clutch cover. The wear on this clutch cover could usually tell you a lot. Um, some of these clutch covers will look like this all the way around them. This one, I would say somewhere in the middle, kind of moderate. Uh, next I kind of go back to this rotor and this is a little disturbing because this rotor is deep, like it's, it's scarred. Um, you can definitely tell there's been a lot of rear brake use, but the front doesn't feel that way. So we well, not, might not be in too bad a shape. Somebody's been using channel locks to get that front. You can't see that channel locks to get that nut off, which is disturbing. But I don't see a lot of other stripped nuts and stuff, which is good. Um, if you're going to flip a bike, first thing you really want to check is down here. Uh, just make sure that there's no JB Weld or anything anywhere on the case. I didn't see any. You can see where they've rounded that little 8 a little bit, but usually no big deal. Also, a lot of times this clutch actuator arm seal is leaking on these Cowies. And sometimes the head cover can leak. I'm not sure if this head cover has ever been pulled or not. This one's hard to tell. Maybe been pulled. Uh, we already know we've got to mess with the carb on this one. And, of course, this rivet's pulled out of this subframe. Happened on almost all of them. They've got zip tie holding this number plate on. Hopefully uh, it didn't, you know, hopefully the seat bolt threads aren't stripped. I cannot get over how long these White Brothers exhausts used to be, guys. That thing is, I mean, it almost sticks out as far as the back wheel. It's just wild. Uh, looks like he, they've changed, it's got an O-ring chain on it. Um, so, you know, it definitely has a little bit of time on it. Uh, you also, you want to take these chain adjusters out and put never seize on these as soon as possible. Take a look at the chain slider here. Not too bad, but these TM designs are bulletproof, so and check out that. There's like there's like mothball like little caterpillar things inside the chain guide. So I don't think this thing has a crazy amount of time on it, to be honest. I really don't. Shock socks. Sh save your sh shocks. Fork seals don't seem to be leaking. Maybe they've already leaked everything out. There I don't see any chips. On the forks here, which tell me that this bike was never raced, uh, for sure. So, I don't know, just some context clues before we tear into this carburetor.